welcome back to Maple Story Campion. I am Sai for those who does not know me. Today I'll be introducing to you Mulung Dojo. Mulung Dojo is a party quest that you can only solo. You cannot bring a party or another person with you since they changed it. And I do not know why. But the reward for completing the Mulung Dojo are actually worth it. And unfortunately for you who are about to get your hopes up just to go Mulung Dojo, the items that you get expires in 7 days. So, yeah. There are 3 different modes and right now I'm doing rank mode. Rank mode is where you have to get yourself into the at least the top 50 in order to get an awesome glove. Um, there are other modes. It's called hard and normal. Normal is the easiest. Hard mode is where you the prize is an eye, two, there's two different eye accessories. I think there's a buff and a potion that recovers all health and MP. But they also unfortunately expires in one week. Especially the potion. Anyway, the point of this party quest is to reach the highest floor and defeat all the bosses they have. The one in rank mode, there are 40 different stages. So there's 40 different bosses. You must defeat the, these monsters within a given amount of time. Other than the glove and accessories, if you collect the Mulung emblems, you can trade them for a belt with hidden potential. Now, the belts also have an expiration date. It's also one week. It has weapon attack and unfortunately I hate to see it expire. So many people might not get it. but but it gives charm and ambition the l there's four different belts the cheapest belt which is 25 emblems it gives you 100 charm and ambition this is a pretty good way to getting charm for those who wants to get a level 30 charm to for those pocket slots you can only do this party quest three times a day unfortunately unlike normal party quests where you can do up to ten now every four bosses that you fight in rank mode there's a rest stop a state uh, re yeah rest stop where you can just sit down and recover, recover health mainly it's because well you cannot use any of your potions in Mulan PQ that sucks because well you, the monster do do pretty darn da damage after a while <sighs> oh and so yeah in every rest stop when you talk to Sogon you can get a buff which causes like 60 seconds which is one minute these buffs are actually pretty worth it but I don't advise you to continuously use it I tend to use them around the end where I have to fight the har the harder bosses I really like the plus 60 magic attack and attack that's a really good buff and it costs only one minute which I can live with because it's pretty easy it's pretty darn good so yeah that's probably that's probably all I have for Mulan Dojo uh, oh yes and the ranks um, they reset every week so no one's gonna stay on top permanently. It's like a one week glory. And that's all for it. And as you can see, uh, here's an, I'm level 200 now. I actually recently just became level 200. And honestly, I'm not that happy about it. The reason I'm not happy about it is because, well, I accidentally leveled up to 200. And it's not those, oh, I was training and waiting for my 99.99% and then just stop. No, this is a different story. I was just in Lionheart Castle, just chilling around, talking to my friends. I wasn't even in a party to train. I did not even attack. I took off my weapon just so I wouldn't attack by accident. And so, yeah, I was chilling with my friends, talking with them, jumping around, just acting silly in the game. Um, I was level 199, 99.99%, and I was waiting for Jay, my cousin, for those who doesn't know, 
to go on so we can have a level 200 party with my friends. And out of nowhere, I was invited to an uh, expedition. It was very random and all. But then I thought it was my friend who wanted Zaku mules. And it was because earlier he was asking for Zaku mules. And I said, oh, oh, okay, I'll join. I'll help you. And so, uh, and so afterwards, I, we, he, I left the party, uh, the expedition, because he said, it's okay, you can leave now. And so I, when, I got re when I got added to the expedition, I thought it was my friend because, well, you can do two Zakum runs a day and so on. And I, and I thought he was on a boss run or something like that, just going to random bosses and fight them. So I joined this expedition, not thinking much about it. And BAM! Right there I became level 200. <sighs> at that time, at the moment I leveled up to 200. I was like screaming and yelling. And like just shock, surprise. I was very angry. I was screaming and yelling in the game. I was typing in caps. Showing, trying to show them how angry I was. And I was asking, why will you add me and stuff? You are a level 200. Well, I checked. I, that was after when he replied, oh, I'm just giving free leech <laughs> and all. And right there in my head, when he said he was giving free leech, I was thinking, you are a level 200. Why will you even be trading here and give your damn leech to your friends and guildy and stuff? I'd, and honestly I was just too angry to think right I was just saying was it necessary to just randomly adding people and I am level 190 now what made you think I want to join a party especially my level I did not want to I was not even in a party what made you think I want to join and right there till, for, till now I already hate it how people randomly add you into an expedition and I was so mad I couldn't even try to keep my cool at that time but as of now I'm still mad I'm trying to keep my cool and doing better than usual so I would like to say this to all those people who randomly adds people into an expedition or just for a boss run don't don't add them out of nowhere you ask them and if they say yes they'll join if they don't they'll ignore you or just say no and moving on to my alliance there was this person who was searching for Zaka mule I didn't I know at that time I was not in the mood to mule for anyone and right there even though I told him I was so mad how this guy just added me he just out of nowhere just added me and I was just furious I like, have you not heard what I just said I am furious from just randomly being added and out of nowhere, you just add me? <sighs> so I'm sorry for making you hear my anger and rapping it out. I hope you enjoyed. I actually finished this rank mode. It took me 26 minutes or so. And so yeah, this is Maple Story Campion. I hope you enjoy this video of my Mulung one. And so yeah, have a good day. And sorry guys for not being able to have that level 200 party that we were looking forward to.